Over the past few weeks, I've given you an introduction to Zoho.com, an online office that allows you to do most of your work, if not all of your work, online through a web browser on any computer. We've given you a quick introduction to Zoho Writer and Zoho Sheet, their word processor and spreadsheet offering. Today we're going to talk about Zoho Creator and a little bit about Zoho Database and Reports. When you first log into Zoho Creator, you're going to get a big button up here, an empty space, and a big button that says Create a New Application. And when you click Create a New Application, we're going to show you how that works here in a second. But first, I want to show you some possibilities. First is a form that I created for my sister-in-law who wanted a feedback form for food that she was making for customers. And she wanted to be online, she wanted it to be easy to use, somewhat elegant to look at, and of course, be able to gather the data afterwards and look for trends and look for any feedback that needed to be addressed regarding her business. So here's the form that I came up with, very, very simple, probably six or eight question form. It has drop down lists for people to choose the information they need to give feedback on, radio buttons that many people are already familiar with, and a place for people to even leave their suggestions or other feedback. And then when they submit the form, the data gets pushed back to her database and she can and be able to look at the information and create reports from the information submitted in her feedback form. Another quick application I want to show you is my simple, simple expense tracking form. It has a date picker where I can choose a date right from the calendar. I can choose a category. Again, these are categories I pre-selected, who I paid it to, and then put the amount and then submit it, add any notes if I needed. Very, very simple. Does exactly what I needed to do without all the extras of having to worry about a spreadsheet or a prepackaged expense tracker. So let's show you how to create a new application in Zoho Creator. So you'll come back to this screen here and there's create new application and it couldn't be easier. So you give your application a name. We're going to give an, a, a form. You can create multiple forms, but we're going to create a form called data entry. And then you can either create a form from a template or you can start from scratch. We're going to start from scratch. I think it's always better when you start from scratch. We'll create this now. For now, it's going to be a private application. You can make this public later if you decide that you do want to put it on your website or share the application with other folks. So we're going to click Create Now. We gave the application a name. Now it comes into a screen where we can actually add our fields and it's just drag and drop. I find the field that I want, drag it over here to the right. So let's start with a date and it automatically puts it in there for me. And Then we're going to do a single line here. And that's going to be first name and I'm going to drag another single line but I'll put it right next to it. And We're going to put last name membership number. We'll just put a number in there so you can see how this works. And in this one we're going to click options and under options we're going to say this is a required field and we do not want any duplicate entries. We want we want the computer, we want the database to be able to follow that there is no duplicate entries because if we're assigning a unique number it cannot have duplicates and we want that to be required. So we'll click done. The drop down field makes it really nice for people who want to have choices in their forms to be able to make them readily available to people who fill the form out. So we're going to call this one member type and now we're just going to delete the options that are there and we're going to put beginner, intermediate, advanced and click done. We're going to go back to the date join to make a couple changes. You notice when I move my mouse over the field it gets a little different color and a dotted line and a pencil off to the left. That allows me to edit the field and we're going to add a couple more things in here. We're going to make that this is also a required field and you notice that there's asterisks next to the fields that have requirements. Now we're going to go back to our drop down list also. We're going to edit that field and we're going to put that the initial value is beginner. So we'll click done and you can see beginner is there. All right, so we are finished creating a basic form. Again, there's lots of different tools you can use, and you can create your form to do just about anything you want it to do. We're going to click Access this application, and now there, just in a few moments, we have a form. So we have our date picker, 
So we'll just say the 18th. We'll put my name in there. I'm going to skip member number so you can see what happens. You can see that the beginner type, or beginner is the member type here. And again, I can choose and select which one I want. But since I told it the beginner is the default, it put it there. And then I'm going to submit it. But now watch what happens. It says, oh, won't let you submit it. You need to enter a value for the member number. So I'm just going to put a value in there, submit it. It says data has added successfully. And then I can add my next member. So it makes it extremely simple to enter in data. And then when I go to the data entry view over here, I will get a list of people that are in my database. By switching to the data entry view, which is a default view in any of the Zoho databases or the Zoho creator databases, you can filter your data and show things such as by date. You can uh, sort out to show me all the beginners, show me all the advanced folks. And you can also export your data to a number of different formats, spreadsheet format, PDF document, generic CSV. So let's go back real quickly to the Zoho website and I'm going to show you one other option that they just added last year called Zoho Database and Reports. You'll see that the Zoho Database and Reports is set up very similar to what we saw in the Zoho Sheet, their spreadsheet offering, but if you're a database type of person, you'll find that there's a lot more flexibility and control in creating a database versus a straight spreadsheet. But for many people, I think the Zoho Creator is going to work out just perfectly for creating a simple database where you just want to be able to enter data and then be able to report on that data in a number of different ways. If you need more flexibility and power in creating graphs and other reports, then you can port that information into the Zoho database and report. So that's it. That's my final installment in Zoho.com's online office. Make sure you watch the other videos if you've not already and enjoy using Zoho.com.